Uh, you, you've been at this a, a long time at all kinds of levels. What, what is the challenge that a, an undrafted player like him is facing in, in trying to crack a roster? Just a daily work habit. You know, a guy comes in and, you know, if you had a bad Tuesday, then don't bring that to Wednesday. You know, if you have a, a good weekend, you know, okay, forget about it, move on to the next week. So it's just you got to be consistent. And, that, and that's where guys, they start getting frustrated because they're making mistakes. And like I say, it's, you, you would be surprised how many plays guys have to learn. And so, you know, I, like I tell them, you know, just one day at a time. I mean, it sounds, you know, like the old coach's cliche, but it's, it's something that that's the thing that you have to do. Otherwise, you know, if you're trying to do everything, you're not going to do anything right. Uh, is the mental challenge in a way then that you're talking about more more so than, than the physical part of it? Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the physical, I think guys recognize that pretty quickly, you know, because the speed of the game, uh, you know, how, who you're going up against, that kind of thing. But it's, it's the mental part because you're not going to be out on the field for three hours. You know, it's not college. We can't get guys out there that long. It's a long season. So you may get you know, six reps one day. The next rep, next uh, day you may get ten reps. So it just depends on what it is and what we're working on. When uh, when you have a, a, a guy like that is kind of a long shot, is it the kind of thing where every, every rep is is precious? I mean, I mean, you know, some of these guys know they're going to make the team. For a guy like that, yeah. I mean, is it literally in any single play could be make or break? Oh yeah, it's. I mean, it's pressure when they come in. I mean, if you're if you're an undrafted guy, uh, most of the time nobody knows very much about you. You know, so guys got to come in and say, okay, you know, if I'm running two plays in one period, they're going to be the best two plays I can run. And, that, and that's just the attitude you got to take. It's not their fault. It's just the way the system is. Uh, the reason Titus caught my eye is I was out here the other day and practice ended, the field's all empty. He's still out here catching passes off, off the jugs machine. Right. Does, does that kind of work ethic stand out? Oh, it has to. You know, you, you just don't, don't come in and think that, you know, you, you got this part of it. You got to work on your whole game every day. And you know, and if you got a, uh, something that's you know not very you know positive about what you're doing, you got to work on that. So yeah, every day is something. You don't you don't just come out practice and go in. You got to you know do some extra things. So you, in your career, when you've seen guys make it, that the undrafted guys or you know Stevie Johnson was the seventh round pick, those mm -hmm. kinds of guys. Is there something that separates them from? The other guys in their uh, their shoes who, who don't end up making it. Oh yeah, I mean I, we got two guys right now. You know, you got Malcolm Floyd and you got uh, Dontrell Inman. You know, they were undrafted guys, but it's just they worked at it, they worked at it, they studied hard. You know, they'd ask veterans questions, they talked to DBs to see what kind of techniques they're doing. It's all kind of little things that you have to do to make sure that I get the, you know the best opportunity to make the team.